Hello and welcome to this review of the Blackburn Shilling Gambit. This chess opening is named after one of the top chess players in the world during the late 1800s, British chess master Joseph Henry Blackburn, who would play in cafes against amateurs for a shilling a game. The Blackburn Shilling Gambit is also a gambit opening where a pawn is given up in the opening in order to receive some type of compensation. So let us begin with a Blackburn Shilling Gambit. The opening moves are e4, e5, knight to f3, attacking the e-pawn, and black protects the pawn with knight to c6. And then white moves bishop to c4, the Italian game. The Blackburn Schilling Gambit is a variation of the Italian game. And after bishop to c4 targeting this f7 pawn, black moves knight to d4 the Blackburn Schilling Gambit. And in this position, he moved this knight from c6 to d4. Normally you don't want to move the same piece twice in an opening, not until you've developed all your pieces off the back row. And so here, he moves this knight again in the opening, gambiting this e5 pawn, which is now unprotected. And so next, white jumps on this unprotected pawn, capturing, and in return, black is able to develop his queen with an attack on this knight and this g2 pawn. And now, white has to make a decision. Should he capture with his bishop and check black's king? Or should he attempt to capture with this knight on f7, forking the black rook and the queen? And so here, if white captures the f7 pawn, forking the queen and the rook, it gives black time to capture on g2, threatening white's rook on h1. And so then, White moves his rook to safety. Now it is protected by his king. But this allows black to capture on e4, placing white's king in check. And white must decide what to do here, but the game is pretty much over. If white blocks with the bishop, black is able to move knight to f3, mating white's king with a smothered checkmate. And so this short game in the Blackburn Schilling Gambit had many possibilities. If we go back and take a look at the beginning, white could have played differently, possibly slowing down this attack by black and preventing the checkmate. So in general, the black, the shilling Blackburn, excuse me, Blackburn shilling gambit may be a fun opening to try, uh, especially in blitz and quicker games. I'm sure it would be very fun to try this opening. But overall, I would say white would probably come out with a slight advantage. So here, once the knight moves again in the opening, there are different options. Instead of white capturing this pawn on e5, he also has the possibility of just capturing the knight on d4. And so then if black recaptures, then white could possibly castle. And here you see White is already castled to safety, and he has a bishop developed. 
and a pawn in the center. And all that black has so far is just this pawn in the center as well. So white is ahead here with an advantage in development. So overall, I would say uh, the Blackburn Schilling Gambit, it may be fun to try out. Leave comments and tell me what you think if you try this opening. Uh, other possibilities are if we go back to the beginning after e4, e5, knight to f3, knight to c6, bishop to c4, knight to d4, the Blackburn Schilling Gambit begins here. And instead of taking on e5, I would say white should refrain from doing that. And let's see what other possibilities are. He could probably attack with the pawn on c3, forcing this knight to make a decision on capturing on f3 possibly, which would just help white develop his queen out. But if we play through here, knight takes e5, and then queen to g5. Earlier, black captured with the knight on f7, but there's also the possibility of capturing with check with the bishop. King could retreat. White is able to castle. And here, black recaptures. And the game may continue. Queen to f4. And now the bishop is captured. Knight to c3. Uh, in this position, uh, it's hard to say. I, I would still think that white is overall having an advantage in this this game but if we check up here at the evaluation it shows a slight advantage to black so try this try this blackburn shilling gambit out for yourselves and see what you think feel free to leave comments i'm curious to know what your opinion is of this opening and there are some other options one more to take a look at. So back at the beginning, if we go e4, e5, knight to f3, knight to c6, bishop to c4, the Italian game, and the Blackburn Schilling Gambit move, knight to d4. And if we continue on, and go back, And this is how the original move order in the first game plays. But here, there are other options. Instead of falling into the smothered checkmate, white could possibly give up the queen. And here, knight takes. Then white attacks the black queen. Queen retreats, and here white has a possibility of capturing on a8. But even in this position, white is in a lot of trouble. So overall, in this opening, I would just recommend... I would say white will have the advantage. Here in this position, if he just captures or chases this knight away, or he could even just castle here. So overall, my recommendation would be 
not to capture this gambited pawn. Just continue development, either by castling, attacking with the c3 pawn, or even just capturing this knight. And there you have a review of the Blackburn Shilling Gambit. Please be, feel free to comment. And if you enjoyed this video, hit the like button and subscribe. Thank you and have a great day.